Okay. Well, I think uh, now we get to talk about the really good stuff. <laughs> uh, that's just my opinion. <laughs> okay, so um, as I've been uh, introduced, I work uh, in the Agricultural uh, uh, Diagnostic Service Center. And today we're going to talk about um, uh, collecting arthropod and disease uh, samples for submission to me here in Hilo. So the uh, uh, Agricultural Diagnostic Service Center is um, a Manoa-based operation, but it is represented here in Hilo uh, by myself, and uh, we provide uh, diagnostic services and in insect identification and uh, plant disease uh, ID. And we work with not only uh, home gardeners, but with commercial growers, as well as uh, different uh, government agencies. Uh, Manoa does do uh, these different types of analyses as they've already shared. And um, I think uh, what's really important is probably what's been repeated uh, now three times, is that it really is all in the details. Uh, how you go about uh, collecting and submitting your sample. And I think uh, having it repeated is probably a good thing because it's so important. Uh, especially for my line of work, the accuracy of the ID is really only as good as the sample you get me. You know, you are out there in your gardens or in your uh, commercial fields uh, actually working your crops, and so you're very familiar with what's going on, whereas I'm stuck here in a lab, I don't get to see it, so if you give me a leaf that's fallen off, that may not be the best uh, sample to bring by. So it must be representative, and that's a word we've heard a few times now of what you're seeing. And uh, it must be fresh and in good condition. Um, some samples, like say for instance nematodes, if you were to collect them and then slip them on your dashboard and go back out and do something else and then drive it in, that's, that heat is enough to kill everything in there. And the extraction methods we use is live extraction, so they need to be alive. And then uh, rapid delivery can also be really important. Um, I'll get to share with you how quickly diseases can move a little later. And so uh, if you were to see something on Saturday and put it in a plastic bag and then bring it on Monday, it's probably just mush. Or if you mailed it somewhere. And so, of course, the um, accuracy of the source data and information that you provide us is important. Um, we're not regulatory. You don't need to hide anything from us. If you're spraying something, you need to tell us. And because that could help uh, either uh, mask the results. You know, if we're looking at a root rotter and you're applying something like phosphorus acid, uh, that would mask my recovery. So I'd need to know that. And then uh, where, how, when, you know, what's the um, situation? How did it appear? How quickly is it spread? And uh, uh, things like that will be very helpful. So um, I think, um, you know, I, after hearing Marisol and, and Alyssa speak, we can all agree that uh, plants like ourselves are pretty dynamic organisms, you know. Uh, the soil health, the nutrients that the plant's able to take up and photosynthesize and produce are all very important. And they all are involved in determining if the plant's going to be healthy or if it will be sick. And so you need to know, of course, what a healthy plant will look like. So if you're growing your crop, perhaps you're planting something new in your garden, and you just don't know if that's what it should look like, uh, you know, you, you need to find a source of information that would provide you with that information. Some, some plants, you know, are actual sports or chimeras, genetic mutations. And so, you know, they may have variegated leaves or distorted leaves, and it's not a pest or a disease or a nutrient but it's just the genetics of the plant. And then you also need to know, you know, how does this, has it been developing? Observe the patterns in your garden. Is it moving from one side to the next? Is it everything you're growing? You know, perhaps it's something you've sprayed accidentally or the neighbor has sprayed accidentally so that it kills everything. Because usually diseases are pretty limited. Uh, some insects like everything, but most of them will kind of go with their host, you know, their host plant. And so is it kind of a rapid spread? Is it gradual? 
what's the history of your crop? How long has this been going on? And then, you know, the growing conditions that the plant is uh, growing under, you know. Sometimes we try to grow things in our garden here in Hilo that aren't meant for our elevation. You know, they're meant for mauka and they don't do as well or vice versa. You know, is it a, a plant that likes shade and you're planting it in full sun? You know, keep a, be aware of those growing conditions. And then, of course, what are your cultural practices? You know, are you fertilizing them right? Uh, are they irrigated? Or, like I said earlier, are they sprayed? So the procedures in doing this would be uh, make observations. You know, you want to be observant. You know your crop, as I said, and you should be aware of uh, what might be going on in there. Uh, a lot of times I'll get a call and I say, it happened overnight. You know, there was no problem. The next morning I woke up and they're all dead. <laughs> well, that's pretty unlikely. You know, uh, diseases just don't work that way. They can move pretty quick, but not an overnight type thing. Unless you have goats come in and eat it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you want to kind of know, you know, what are the cultural practices? You know, uh, are you planting them properly? You know, plants are pretty interesting in that they don't like to be buried. You know, plants actually breathe from their leaves through stomates or on their stems through lenticels. And they also breathe by uh, their roots. So if you plant them a little too deep and you get a nice heavy rain, they can uh, simply just get saturated and die. So they, they pretty much drown. So you want to plant them properly. You know, you want to make sure that your fertilizer and your pesticides, uh, be it synthetic pesticides or organic, are done properly. And then uh, we haven't been needing that lately, but if it's dry, make sure you're irrigating them. And then, uh, you know, are we having an excessive, excessive amount of rain, you know? So usually when we have this kind of weather next week, I'll get a lot of disease samples come through. And then when it's really dry, I get a lot of insects come through. So, you know, be aware of what's going on with the weather. You know, we've had some lightning strikes. So I bet we'll start hearing about some trees that have died or are dying because of that. And, uh, you know, the soil typing conditions, Marisol did an excellent job. And then, uh, you know, uh, check the host specificity. So I mentioned to you that usually insects are uh, directly um, uh, associated with their host plant. But, uh, you know, if you see something and perhaps the leaves are turning yellow and it's on everything in there, then it may be an abiotic problem or a problem that's not related to an insect or disease. So, uh, you know, make sure you just kind of keep an eye on what's going on and uh, get a good idea of what uh, might have happened. Okay, so uh, as a, a repeat, uh, first thing is, you know, detect that you have a problem by first identifying what a healthy plant should look like. And then uh, go out and collect your sample. And we've got a reference right here on the bottom uh, that helps you go through that depending on the crop. Uh, whether it be an orchard crop or a vegetable crop or an or ornamental crop, uh, how to go ahead and collect the sample. And then, uh, of course, the submission. So I think that's been repeated uh, a couple of times now that uh, we do have three uh, uh, extension offices here on the island that are available for you to submit it to. Uh, if they are insect and disease on the island, they come to me. So even if it's in Kona, they send it over. Uh, of course, the tissue and the soil all goes to Manoa. And then uh, I'll work to identify the problem and give you some solutions.